Welcome to Pinnacle Performance Company's Fishbowl Friday with Pinnacle co-founder and COO, G. Riley Mills, and master instructor and editorial director, Brad Lawrence. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Fishbowl Fridays from Pinnacle Performance Company. I'm Brad Lawrence. This is G. Riley Mills. Hey, Gee, what, are you, what are we doing? Hey. So for those of you not familiar with our Fishbowl Friday, here's how it works. Very simple. We have a fishbowl. We have a bunch of questions around the topics of leadership, communication, collaboration, and influence. Every Friday, Brad and I pick one, and we talk about that topic and offer up some tools and some coaching on how you can deal with that situation. Ooh, Ready, Freddy? Let's do it. All right, here we go. What do I do if I have a lot of verbal fillers in my speaking? Ooh. So verbal fillers, let's define that first. We call them in the pinnacle methodology. <laughs> verbal viruses. Those are verbal viruses, <laughs> and they sneak in. Those are the uhs and the ums. Oh, and the so's and the you know's. And, and the likes. And the likes, And the yes. I means. And, there's, yeah, yeah. and so let's talk for a second. Why are they bad? Tell oh. me why. They're just sounds. Are they really that bad? Yes, they they, they, they can be. They yeah. can be. I, the thing I always I always remind my people of it. It's not about a hundred percent elimination. A few are going to sure. sneak out, and and that's okay. It can help make your speech sound spontaneous. It's it's when you keep using them over and yeah. over and over. It it makes you sound unprepared. Correct. It makes you sound like you don't know your content. And they're distracting. And they're distracting, and they're, especially they're if you do a lot of the same one. I'm sure we all know somebody, a professor yes. or a friend, who's got that one verbal virus that they use all the time, and it's, uh, 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 you start keeping a tally of I've them. Heard, I've heard of people in meetings <laughs> yes. who sit in the back when a certain speaker or executive talks because they know they're going to have a lot of them, and they will literally keep a little tick, like tick, tick, tick. How many did you get? How many did you get? Yeah, ridiculous. So if someone is counting your verbal viruses, they're not focusing on <laughs> your, your message is not getting You're across. Doing too so many. Them. Yeah. So uh, they're distracting, and they hurt your credibility. Those are the two reasons why you do not want to have verbal viruses. What can you share? What can we share to get rid of them, for, to help people eliminate them? Well, the first and best way to eliminate them is preparation. Sure because so much of what often motivates them is transition. Your brain doesn't quite know where it's going next, so it hits a, a temporary roadblock, and when you're sitting in that roadblock, you, uh, I'll go this way, and that's what causes Yeah, it's, them. Almost, it's yeah. almost like a signal to yourself that the connection between your, where you're, what you're talking about and where you're going next, it collapses, yep. and so you feel the impulse, um, um, I can't have any quiet because um, um, when in reality, it's okay to have a moment or two of totally. just silence, stop talking. Yeah, it's all about ownership. Okay. As long as you look like you're in control in that moment, we'll give you all the time you need. Yeah, so you said preparation. I absolutely agree. Another thing I would say is awareness. Definitely. Do you even know that you're doing them? Yeah. And the only way you can find that out is record yourself. Record yourself and listen back, and you make the tick marks. Or if you're doing a meeting, have somebody do it for you. Say, hey, yeah. do me a favor. I'm working on my uhs and my ums and my likes. Can you just make a tick mark how many I have? And I just want to count those and, and get better. So awareness. Totally. And then the other, only other thing I would add is slowing down. Slow down. Pause, slow down. Pause, yeah, so slow down. Yeah, your, your, your mind moves, I think, five to six times faster than your mouth. Yeah. So give your mouth time to give your mind time no which one is it <laughs> give give your give time for the two to you, sync up you did that yeah. without any verbal viruses so <laughs> amazing very nice. also i want to add uh, english as a second language yes even more important because you got to do the switch with vocabulary so slow down nobody's going to think you're going too slow we can always almost always go slower than we think when we're speaking in front of people or running definitely meeting. Definitely. There is your Fishbowl Friday. Ta-da. We will see you next week. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye. If you'd like to submit a question for the Fishbowl, drop us an email at fishbowl at pinper.com. If you'd like to learn more about Pinnacle Performance Company, email us at info at pinper.com. Don't forget to subscribe, follow, and tell your friends. See you next week.